Today we install some AeroCatch hood pins on Project Civic. First thing is first, go buy some stickers guys. We have the logo, vinyl transfer sticker, super high quality, $6 shipped anywhere in the world. And we have our new design, wrench, race, fine, repeat. It's a laminated sticker, it's gonna last a long time. $6 shipped anywhere in the world. Go to the link below in the description, get some stickers, help us out. Next thing I wanna let you guys know about is Rob and I have decided on a day to go back to the track. We are gonna to go to the firm, which is in Central Florida. If you're around and wanna do a track day with us, we are going August 26th. So if you wanna show up, pay your entrance fee and go out racing with us, we're gonna go out that day and have some fun. We're gonna bring our buddy Juan is coming out and his friend Dusan. So it's gonna be a good day of Hondas. So, and a good day of racing. It's a cool track. You've seen it before on our channel. And I'm sure all the haters are already commenting by now, but I have my wheels covered because I'm not showing them to you yet. <laughs> but Travis, why? Why can't we see the wheels? Just show us already, who cares? We care. This is our channel, Rob and I run it, and this is what we wanna do. You'll see the wheels when we want you to see the wheel. We want a little bit of suspense. Remember back in the day before Netflix and, and all this instant entertainment? You had to wait for things. So Rob's wheels are still back ordered, so they should be coming soon, hopefully sometime this month. But once he gets his wheels, we're gonna do a big unveil with both cars. So stay tuned. You'll you'll see the wheels soon enough, and you'll probably hate the shit out of them. <laughs> I, I mean, just relax, relax, you two people. They're super cool. I'm so excited about them. I love looking at my car because it's got cool wheels now. But you just have to wait. It's okay. Suspense. Anyway, let's get to this. So today I'm going to install the arrow catches. I've had them sitting around forever because I've just been kind of putting it off. Um, but it's a huge problem for me at the track and just everyday life, lifting the hood. There's a problem with the pull, the pull string. Um, some connections are loose inside and what happens is I'll pull the hood and I'll open it and it'll be fine. And then I go to close it and it won't, it won't close. I'll slam it, slam it, slam it, it won't close. So at the track, it's rush, rush, rush. I open the hood, check something, put more fluids in, whatever. And then I go to go back out and my hood's up. And I go around the track with my hood, not necessarily up, but not locked down. So it starts to flap and obviously that's not safe. The arrow catches are gonna be a good fix for that. They're gonna be easy access for the hood to be open and closed really quickly. Just solve this problem that I've been having. I have some stuff laid out. All the stuff in the arrow catch package. These are the basic instructions and I printed out some other ones that I don't know where they are. But first off I'm gonna install the pins themselves to try to get a good marking of where the arrow catches are gonna be cut out of the hood. These are going to be installed here. There's a hole on this frame that goes in front of the car here. These two holes, they're right by the headlight. So they're pretty much identical. Um, I've already started to work on this one because it's kind of in the way. So I'm gonna start just clearing that out and then the hood pins are gonna sit here. And they're gonna be spaced out equally on my hood that way as well by using holes that are already pre-droiled in the body, it's gonna make for a very even look. It sits flush right against it and then I can, we can bolt it up. So I'm gonna do that with both sides. But I trimmed up the bracket here, as you can see, with a razor blade on both sides. Just to get a little bit more room and clearance so it sits down on me. I have set up the hood pins just kind of to test and get a accurate position of the actual arrow catches that are going to go on the hood. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll just put some paint on top of these. You could use some toothpaste or just something to mark the hood so I know where to cut. So I'm gonna take just some latex paint I got lying around, but I've seen guys use toothpaste as well to mark their position. Mm -hmm. 
just gonna close the hood down to mark the area. Let's lift it back up. And you can see that it marked there and there on my hood. See the marks faintly there. And they're in that kind of divot. It seemed pretty, pretty even. They're a little bit different, but pretty close. I'm going to take my drill and drill through where I've marked it so then I can have a starting point on the opposite side of the hood to start cutting so I know where the center is where the hood pin is going to go. Drilled my hole on both sides. Focus. I want you all to know that this is not Part of the instructions this is for me you guys can do it too it's a marker to get kind of the center of the hood pin because I'm going to be cutting out a large portion of this area but it's good to know where to start and then I have these cutouts here which I'm going to use to actually cut out of my hood So I'm just gonna draw a template around this just so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Using a pencil. As you can see, I have my templates drawn my plan is to do one side and then I might make a template of that side flip it over to the opposite side try to get it to be as even as possible because they're a little bit different I don't know if it matters that much to me it is a race car it's not a show car and I think you know eyeballing it it's not going to be a big deal but we'll see how it goes I'm going to cut that side first and fit that side and then go to this side. So I'm gonna use my Dremel tool and wearing gloves, earplugs, and some eye protection. guys so that's my first pass at it you can see I was trying to cut inside the line obviously that you know I don't want to go too much larger um, so and then I'm gonna take my grinding wheel on my Dremel to just bring bring it closer to that line I went a little bit out of the line here but it's not a big deal because the lip of the arrow catch goes at least up to here so that'll be covered. So I'm just gonna clean this up and be good to go. So you basically gotta cut the hole twice because now I gotta cut the inner sheet of metal to have it fit all the way through. Uh, what I'm gonna do is mark it on this side just so I don't chop up my hood too much.
got this one on. I have worked at getting the holes big enough, but I have come to realize that the AeroCatch set that I bought is not the typical AeroCatch that we see, where you drop it in from the top and then you put a bracket on from the other side. I didn't realize this until I just started to try to install it. It installs like that, but as you can see, it kind of looks different than um, some catches that other guys have. Because this is actually supposed to be installed from the bottom up, which I didn't know that until this second. So I'm gonna take a pen and just mark all the holes so then I can drill through the hood and this is where the it's going to get screwed into. Before I install the air catch, I'm going to actually paint the areas where I cut out because that will rust otherwise and I don't want this to be weak. Done here is made a template this side and then it matches this so then I can go over there, flip it around and get the same angle on that side. Day three, first day I did a lot of the work, I cut the holes out on the hood, got things pretty much fit, but I realized that the arrow catches that I have are different than the norm. The arrow catches I have are ones that are to be installed from the bottom and they're very flush with the hood instead of the ones that drop in and kind of have that bump over it. I'll show you guys, hold on. You can see here that it goes up because on the normal kit that most guys buy because it's easier to it's just an easier install if you do it the other way plus it's a lot cleaner on the hood because when you're cutting these holes you're not going to be perfect it's not going to be that smooth i wouldn't buy these if i was your like us you know diy home mechanic and who is just trying to you know do a cool mod i wanted to install them the right way and i don't want to try to get the other ones or spend more money like it's just not worth it to me so i installed these the right way uh, from the bottom up. I did uh, the one on the right side already and I'm going to work on this one now, I'll show you guys how to install it from the bottom up. What I did yesterday was I just made sure that the holes were smooth and to grind out any kind of extra metal that was in the way and to get these to fit. This hole that I cut on this side, it's a little bit tight, so I had to really work the grinder wheel and work the hole to make it bigger. And so it fits now, just so. So I'm gonna install it. There's two portions, so we have the arrow catch uh, latch itself and then the bracket goes in car like so with this like this so this goes through the hole 
it goes through the hole. It's very tight. So then you take the bracket itself and it goes, the nuts go in the holes here and then it goes up around it. So you hold the bracket from the bottom and then you put screws in from the top. It's a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Does not come with the set of air catches. You gotta buy one if you don't have the right Allen key, which was me. I have my arrow catches in the hood all set. Now I'm just trying to get the studs in the right place to lock in with the catches and then mount the grommet on it as well. So it's a little bit too tall. So I want the grommet to be uh, right in the middle of the hole. There's a little pressure and it's a snug fit. So I'm gonna trim that up. And I'm done. Holy crap. This is not for someone who wants to get something done very quickly. These are very finicky things to install, uh, especially once you get the, the air catches in the hood. Getting the pins lined up just right takes a while. I probably opened and closed the hood over 50 times just to get the, especially the right one, lined up. The left one kind of worked out pretty well uh, and then the other one was a little finicky. And that's really because this car is old and everything's not that straight anymore, especially this frame rail up front. So what can you do? You gotta work with it. But now everything looks good. I'm gonna show you guys. So I have the stud there, stud here. It has the grommet, rubber grommet on it. And then installed the arrow catches that install from the bottom that are flush on top. So you just push down on each side. That's what the rubber grommet does is it locks it in. Push down. In. It is good to go. As you saw, I moved the stock hood release. You could probably modify this and keep the clip, the hook in there, but I think this is really secure, so I'm not going to do that. That's it for arrow catch install. You know, this is not the normal one that people do. They usually get the ones that drop in. I'll show you guys a picture here of how those look compared to the ones I have. And, you know, my hood doesn't look that good. My car doesn't have a good paint job. I mean, it is, you know, almost 20 years old. Not worried about it, you know, and, and since I did get these kind that fit from the bottom, whenever I do get a paint job on the car, you know, I can really, I can get these kind of bondoed in and they'll look really clean. I think it's good for me now. I didn't want to install them incorrectly, so I think it's good to go. That's it for today. Please subscribe, buy some stickers. Next week, Rob and I are going to start on my clutch install. I have an action clutch and a competition flywheel 
to install on Civic since mine is pretty much shot. See you guys next week.